has Wind Dragon. Uh, I think he has a Feral Lamp. Uh, Queen of Autumn Leaves. Feral Lamp, two Korea goes, one Larvas, Queen of Autumn Leaves, and Wind Dragon Guard of the Fortress number one. Okay. So, one Wind, one Wood. And Mars is Earth. Earth. I do like this map, even though I don't know what it's going to do. So it's just a nice looking map? I think so. Because I, yeah, I, I can't think of any stage transitions or anything that happened here. This is the only one I feel bad when I kick their ass. Note, special area effects are assigned to the board's individual squares. The squares surrounding the lanterns and houses boost light-type monsters. Squares around the trees benefit wood monsters. There are no added benefits for monsters positioned on the path. Oh. Okay. Neat. I don't think he has any light monsters, he, though. He doesn't. But Gabe does. The dude does have two Grebos. I thought you were going to use Dark Magician go more. Uh, it's like the first battle I got to use her is fucking Bandit Keith. I thought you didn't use her very much. No, we didn't, because I thought Bandit Keith. <laughs> anyway. Oh, the, our first playthrough. Yeah. And so, then you didn't use this playthrough. Time Wizard. The Baby Dragon. Yeah. Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon. You know, honestly, even if you just hung back with them this round, they'd probably get enough to level up. Probably. Heartbeat Lady. Blast! Do you really, do you really yeah, want to chance it? What? I mean, you can, but... What, Blast Juggler? Yeah. That needs to That's a sincere question. That's not me trolling you. If I don't, he'll kill it. No, I'm not going to use it. Okay, fine. Go ahead. I'm not going to use the damn thing. You had a King Rex. And you have enough space for two more. Who do I choose though? You can pick two low level monsters. You have the boy! True. The boy, and then you can. Pick something in the 80s. Petite and dragon. green boy. Eh? Petite dragon. The larva moth. Oh. Petite dragon. Or a honey moth. But it doesn't really matter. You need super sage and god honey moth. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. I guess that's not untrue. <laughs> I did get that ultimate rare black rose dragon. Anymore. That still pisses me <laughs> off! I remember I buying. Remember I just bought that pack on a whim. <laughs> I remember back then I bought so many. Oh, oh the uh, game froze. No. Uh. Well then. We'll be back! Back to these messages. Uh, <laughs> 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 it was my PlayStation 2 waking up. Hopefully that wasn't an omen of things to come. It better not be. Okay, we've almost beat Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> The save last till two. <laughs> Game, don't throw the controller! <laughs> He's doing <laughs> <a> bounce! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and then it gave those the people's elbow on the PlayStation <laughs> <laughs> Even though the PlayStation 2 controller didn't do anything. <laughs> he gets up just like that and waves and everything. Runs back and forth across the room. <laughs> elbow. Ow! He climbs on the chair and his body slams. <laughs> Frog splash off the top of the chair. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to edit this into, like, at the end. <laughs> like, this whole conversation about me breaking a fucking controller is just the image. <laughs> Makes me kind of wish we'd play, like, a WWE game, just so we could just make, like, a parody uh, I of. I have plenty. <laughs> so we could make, like, a parody of Yu Gi and just give them the fucking people's elbow and name a <laughs> controller break. Yes, I'm an asshole. Technical difficulties. <laughs> we had a uh, involuntary mulligan. Somebody cast spell binding circle on our game. <laughs> and this time I shall activate my spell card. I no longer care about what you have to say. Did you care to begin with? I wasn't taught the last time. Okay. Trying again. And I still win. Again. Attack second. Again. I like this spot. It's cozy. Here we go again. Alright. Uh, so, Petite Dragon. Time wizard. I forgot the boy. <laughs> the boy. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, baby dragon. Flame manipulator. Blast juggler. Manipulating. Why not go big? You can get rid of Harpy Lady or Blast Juggler and no. add a big monster. Oh, yeah, I do need to get two head King Rex. I'm pretty sure that's not the big monster you were talking he about. He has dark monsters. He has two dark monsters. Yeah, he has a feral amp and two Karibos. Fine. I mean, you can if you. Barrel Dragon! Alright. Curse of Dragon. I burn this beautiful. I burn the beautiful scenery. Okay. I'm a monster, and now it looks like I won Tekken Five stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's another game that I want to play with you guys again. Tekken Five. Well, Tekken. Is the most recent one six? Seven. Seven. Wow, I can't count. Uh. Mm -hmm. Getting another DLC thingy? I'm not sure. The Polish lady, yes. I haven't played the game in years. I know it's not there. Do not crash. <laughs> so, Tommy, I pointed this out to Jordan, but. Why is it that whenever there's a Yu-Gi-Oh! video game, is Shizu always teams up with Kaiba? I don't know. Because she did in the anime. I mean, she gave Kaiba all the list with the on that. Yep. Like, yeah. I mean, but beyond that, I mean, he was the, I mean, she's the one that dual Pegasus first. This is Kaiba in the uh, Battle Study Finals. She did? Yeah. Oh. Kaiba be her and then you yep. stole you be. Oh. Did he struggle against her? I doubt it. Uh, I don't remember the specifics of that duel too well, but basically Shizu had to play now a certain way to where he... She knew what Kaiba was going to do, but Kaiba did something that she didn't foresee, and that's how he won. Oh. 
He summons his credit card. No, he sacrificed Aquas and another monster for his blue eyes or something like that. Uh -huh. How is that not? I think it's because she used a trap or something that would have blown up a obelisk or something. It's important. And he's like, oh, I defy my fate! And then he, like, tributes obelisk and another monster for his blue eyes and then he kills her. Huh. And she didn't see that coming. How could she not see that coming? He's totally not going to get rid of his blue yes. monster for his white dragon. Because WHITE DRAGON! Because something blah 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 defy destiny. Okay. <laughs> but that's not really defying anyone's expectations. Everyone expects him to summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Exactly. It's just sacrificing obelisk. Which. Well, I mean, on paper, that sounds like kind of a stupid idea. Hey, let's sacrifice the God card for a normal monster. But I see Kaiba doing it! <laughs> but that's. To be fair, Shizu has not known Kaiba for very long. <laughs> If she did, she'd wait for the blue eyes to inevitably be summoned, and then do it to that. That one won't leave the field. He'd never sacrifice the blue eyes. That would be defying fate if he even fucking lifted a finger off that card. <laughs> The only way he kind of defies fate on a day-to-day -day basis is depending on how long he stops holding his fucking blue eyes. No! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the saga continues. <laughs> God damn you, blast juggler! <laughs> Why do I need to get you to level five? We can't even get it to level two. We never can. That it's like a fucking curse. <laughs> well, that is quite funny. Like, Last Juggler isn't that bad of a monster. Uh, this is kind of convincing me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at some point I gotta stop lying to myself. It's an okay monster. Stat-wise. <laughs> <laughs> Luckwise, fucking sucks. Hello, darkness, my old foe. You're retreating. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hit anybody. You. You're fucking hanging out of my walking. Put another nail in the coffin. <laughs> ah, yes, the song for, uh, Blast Juggler's body count on himself. <laughs> Not even anyone else, just himself. He doesn't get a badass theme for being useless. You hear me, you fucking fireball that I'm probably not gonna hit anything with. I'm calling it out. I don't need the Millennium Ride. No! Bitch, you better back the fuck up before I fuck you the fuck up. This Bitch, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be kinda of bad if Wing Dragon gets up there. I don't think you're gonna be able to hide it anywhere back there then. Personally, I think Wing Dragon's the bigger threat. <laughs> Stop to consider whether you should. <laughs> I can 
can, but I don't know why I would. No. Did you lose Baby Dragon yet? Uh, Baby Dragon will just fucking die. I mean, I can do that. Uh, I, think, I think you're kind of boxed in. <laughs> You're gonna have to start attacking with something. <laughs> Alright, uh. One, jump one. You can't hit anything at this range. Of course he can't. Because he's blast juggler. The, the boy could hit Karibo, I think. And you're backing right the fuck up. The boy can hit Karibo. Larvis, Karibo, or Karibo? Oh! <laughs> no matter what I do, he's getting attacked twice. Yes. It's okay. The boy can take him. Even if he can't, he'll be serving a purpose. Okay, you'll do 119 to him. We'll do 113 to him, or 105. Well, I think the option is blatantly clear. 119 is everything else. Uh, time wizard. I do not like this game. Okay, you do. You can't hit. Selected her for playing it right now. Uh, maybe. maybe. Time was it? Don't, don't do what you normally do. Don't fucking die. Hey, I'm not controlling him. He should live. <laughs> but it's time wizard. His trademark is to die in the least spectacular way possible. At least Blast Juggler, when he dies, we groan about it like he's a useless unit. Time Wizard dies and we're sitting there going, well, I could have used that. I was not expecting that. And especially, well, he might be able to still attack me. Yeah, he's and dead set determined that boy's got to die. It's mm. okay. He's distracting from Curse of Dragon and Time Wizard. Yeah, he is. Yeah! Oop. Uh, let's go a bit too soon. I will have to pull back. No, kill, just, just, just kill Karibo. But he served his purpose. <laughs> I, I'm just wasting spots, just running away. You got these couple up? No. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but now I just got a song I heard that just is in the name of God. It's just this crusader ass song as I'm watching all these fucking flying creatures just to burst out of the woods. Oh. That joke's on you. We don't care about him. <laughs> we don't care about flight manipulator. Literally, we really don't. He hasn't done much. Even if we can get one fucking level out of my juggler, we'll call it a victory. <laughs> Just level two. All I'm at. Final bargain. Level two. <laughs> I'll say we might be able to do this. Well, I'll just go ahead and kill the one thing with Curse of Dragon. You'll be, wait, go, you can go for Wing Dragon with that. Okay. Go back to Blast Juggler. Boom, there. You might be able to wait. attack it with... Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 If one dragon dies, his biggest slayer is gone. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> it killed something. It killed something. <laughs> It'll never happen again. <laughs> okay, oh, no. Kill, kill Larvis. Cause a dragon. Yes, kill it, kill it, kill it dead. Good. Okay, then the only things left are Karibo and Queen. We can do this. I'm gonna try to save. Use Flame Manipulator as bait. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm going. Hippie to Go after the weak monster. So last juggler has a chance at survival. No. You dick! Yeah, well. That one's restrictions aren't as bad. Oh, That's oh, what we wanted. I'm just surprised it lived. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can attack the Karibo. I think you're right. It attacks one in front of it. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Can I ensure that if I move to that? Tackle Flame Manipulator first, then Blast Juggler. Yes. Yes. One, I'm still amazed that Flame Manipulator survived this long. I'm amazed Blast Juggler's still alive. Hey, yeah, I know! That never happens! <laughs> like, okay. ever. Then they should level up. Should. Alright. 102. Automatically a success. <laughs> Curse of Dragon should be able to attack. Yes. Yes, it can. And damage is damage. And that is where I will end my turn. Not gonna move Baby Dragon up? No. No. My Caleb Off Talk was around at least leveling up, baby. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You've done your job. Now let's see if we can't get let, let's see if we can't get Queenie here into a uh, blast jugger range. <laughs> Not even no. Uh, 
close to getting his symbol. <laughs> That's Bowie Bakura. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> I'm coming for your symbol. I'm definitely not waiting for you to move your queen so I can move my juggler to nuke you. Totally not the plan. <laughs> I'm starting to feel that I should have moved Baby Drag. That, that was... Kind of pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's doing! No, no, no. You no. can't kill it with Blast Dragler. Kill it you with are. Curse of Dragon. I have to kill it now because I know exactly what monster he's going after. This is for trying to go after my tablet! <laughs> and he won. Okay, Tommy versus Merrick, go! Okay. Let me select my monsters. What are you taking? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I, I was too busy focusing. Take Queen and Red Dragon. Uh, take Queen and I wish Red Dragon Archfiend was in there! <laughs> Wing Dragon. Let me talk to Konami and have them produce more capsule monster games. I'm just curious if they're gonna, if they did, I'm really hoping they don't do what they did in Wheelie Breakers. Which is, somehow... Yeah. Woo! Progress is being made! PROGRESS IS BEING MADE! <laughs> just for me to undo it in the next fight. <laughs> don't even joke about that. Baby Dragon leveled up. Alright. Uh. I doubt anything will get to our symbol to decrease its PP, but you still have the Kaiba fight to do. Yeah. No. Actually went better than the first time. Yeah, it did. The first time I got almost killed. Mm-hmm. Like really bad. That's when the uh, bad luck uh, time wizard came in. Hello, Mac. Yep, you get 